just got done with my first ever attempt at Frostpunk and I'm stressed. <laughs> 11 Bit Studios are set to release Frostpunk 2 sometime in 2024. The first game that I've been playing today was on sale on Steam for £4.99 for the base game and then they have a bunch of DLC and expansions available as well. So I wanted to give it a go before the release of Frostpunk 2. If you want to see how I got on on my first attempt, then keep watching. Here we go. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. Oh, what is that accent? It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Oh, look how green and lush it is. Until the frost. No. Stopped it all. Oh. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. Oh my god. Without a wealth of class. They lost our world to snow. No. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Oh, it's London! Right? It is London. Plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. This music does not need to go we this to hard. Leave our homes and we head, head north. north! Oh my god! We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope. Pushed us forward. Holy shit. Slowly. Step by step. My hand's shaking. I need to stop. We knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price. A hundred times. <laughs> Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Holy shit. That did not need to be that epic. The music was insane. Holy shit. I loved that. The, I don't know. It's the music, isn't it? The music just gets you. The music is really, really hard hitting, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. Cross the sea? <gasps> Are we in Northern Ireland? Imagine we're in Northern Ireland. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. I love this. Oh my god, I'm in. I'm hooked. <laughs> we have to survive. Here we go. Okay, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay, so we need coal. Oh my god. Um, stockpile some coal. We need 200 and turn the generator on. Wow. Okay, where's the coal? What is this? Steel wreckage. Steel. Wood. Steel. I need coal. Here. Okay. Requires at least one worker. So where do I get a worker? Oh, the music makes me sad. So do I need to tell one worker? Dorothy! She has a- oh, she has a husband and a child. I need you to go- okay, hold on. Most buildings require you to assign people to work there. Certain buildings only employ engineers and others only employ workers. 
To assign people to work, click on a workplace and use the assignment panel. Okay, so give me a workplace. Oh, look. So that's happening now. I don't think I need to do anything else. Oh, look, look at them go. Oh. Lydia, go, go, go. Oh my God, that is the most adorable thing. They're gonna be so cold. Yeah, we need some tents for people to sleep in. Let's put them... Get to work, everyone. Bless Lydia's away working on the call herself. But she's coming back. Why is she coming back? Is that her working? Is that her just going back and forth? Getting coal? It's only got two out of a hunt. Can I put another worker here? Get to work. Somebody else go and help. Because this is going to take way too long. If only Lydia's working. How many... Uh, this is the how many people we have? 80 homeless people? Holy God. Okay, um, we need some homes for you. How many people will be able to live here? Oh! Okay, so these tents are finished. These tents house 10. So really I need eight of those to house my 70 more. Well, seven more. Oh God, right. Okay, let's get some more people on the call then. That's, you know, that needs to be high priority actually. These need to be quicker than this. I think I need to even maybe do... Let's just do 15. Go on, gang, and I will get building you some more tents to live in. Because we don't want anyone getting cold. We're out of wood! Oh, f I'm stressed already, guys. This is not a chill Sunday stream. What's that? What's wrong? What is the question? What's wrong? The heating is off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep. Of course. Go get wood. Where are the coal workers? This is taking way too long. I need us to get to work. Oh god, it's night time now. Everyone's gonna freeze to death. I don't understand why nobody is rushing to get the coal. Like, how do I, how do I motivate my workforce? Are they sleeping? Is it that time? How do I see time of day? Okay, at the top here, I've got coal, wood, steel, and steam cores. Also got raw food and food rations. Oh, it's it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. That's why nobody's working. They might all freeze to death in the night, though. There's 50 of them without a home. Oh, God. The generator is the heart of the city and the only source of heat in this frozen hole. You should turn it on as soon as you stockpile enough coal. Okay, coal and wood is essential. Oh, God, someone's sick. Oh, God. Okay, Simon. Simon, your parents will help you. Oh, my God. Simon is a child. I've got a sick child. Two sick children. Oh, no. I think we just need to see if we can get through the night this time. We don't have enough wood to make any more homes for you. I feel an immense weight on my shoulders right now. I thought this was going to be a cozy, fun Sunday. Oh, they're all sleeping outside. Oh, God. Three sick people. Dorothy, no. Four. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do I help them? I think I just need to get through the... Oh, hope is going down. Oh, no. One of our people has died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need to, a way to dispose of the body. Open the Book of Laws. Okay. We will establish a burial ground so we can lay our dead to rest with dignity and respect. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You will have to establish a cemetery. Well, I think that's a good law to have. We need hope. We need hope in this damned world. There's lots of people dying. A cemetery will be established. Okay, William, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as it should be. People froze to death. Some of our people didn't wake up today. They simply froze to death while sleeping outside in the bitter cold with the generator turned off. Shit. So many people have died. How do I stop this? I think I just need to get through the night because nobody's going to go to work. Nobody's going to work. Come on, everyone. It's five o'clock. Time to get to work. Citizen needs shelter, which means you need to go out and go to work, please. Yeah, everyone, go to work. Look at them all go, yay! This is good, this is good. Let's speed up time a little bit so we can get some more wood. Coal's going up super fast. Wood is going up a little bit slower, but still going up, that's all good. Okay, I'm feeling positive. We, we made it through the first night. Not all of us, not all of us, but <sighs> I'm feeling a little bit less stressed. They work between eight and six. Okay, that's good. That's a good long work day. 
There's more coal to the north. We can we can start collecting from there too. Oh, <gasps> good idea. We need everyone to work. This needs to be a team effort. We get 200 coal by the end of the day. We can turn the generator on. Yes, we've got it. How do I switch it on? Oh, <gasps> it's on. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. All right. Oh yeah, look, we're melting the snow. We have more space to build shit. Okay, we need a cookhouse. Food, cookhouse. Get to work. And we also need to build more tents for people to live. I can't be having homeless people. We're out of wood. Come on, guys. Oh God, what's wrong? The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. What about this? No roof over our heads. There's a housing problem. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. I'll provide shelter for everyone. I'm going to provide hope because these two are nearly finished in which we'll have just two more tents to make. Tomorrow we can gather more wood and build the last remaining tents. So what do I do here? We need some workers. Okay, we need to pull back some workers from the coal mines and put them to work in the cookhouse. This is a little bit stressful, but I am enjoying it. Right, hope is going down, why? Two children died, one unpopular decision, and 13 adults died? Okay, that's, that's not great. They work between eight and six. Okay, they work between eight and six in the cookhouse also. So I guess we just need to make it through the night. Let's see how many people die tonight. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear from your leader. <laughs> okay, it's five o'clock. Everybody should be getting up ready to go to work. Nine people are sick. Secure a raw food supply, build a hunter's hut. Oh, what's this? Critical shortage. The number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Consider signing the emergency shift law. Okay, hopefully this is gonna be some overtime. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. New ability, you can force workers in any facility to work to to work for the next 24 hours? Oh my god. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. I mean, I'll sign it. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. We really need wood. Oh, they're not happy about that. Let's pull back on the coal miners a little bit just for today. More wood. Steel. We don't need steel right now, I don't think. Go, go, go. What else can we do? We can build... We don't have any wood right now, so we can't build any more tents. What is that noise? Everybody's going to work for the day. It's so cunning. All right. So we still have two sets of people on call. Ah, this. Discontent will rise. I think I can afford to let discontent rise for a little bit just to get a good supply of wood. I mean, let's see discontent they're not happy about it they're not happy about it in the slightest but we've got plenty of work that's we've got as many people working on it as we can but if they gather more wood then we can build oh god we have hungry people oh god okay um tent that's enough tents perfect um what's wrong functioning could not resume production requires raw food. So how, what is a raw food source? We need a hunter's post. Okay. Um, food, hunter's hut. Hunter's based here. Hunt every night, venturing beyond the city. 20 wood. Oh, okay, guys, come on. We need four more wood. Perfect. Hunter's hut. Where can we build you? We might have to build out a little bit into the snow. There we go. We're out of wood. You guys are working overtime though, so 
We've got lots of hungry people, lots of sick people, and five homeless, but they'll be able to live there once they finish those tents. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Okay, because we fulfilled the promise, hope rises. That's good. Now we just need to finish building this. Oh, what's wrong now? More sick beds needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. I will open a new medical post. You have three days to build it. Yes, sir. Raw food supply will be satisfied once we've opened this hunter's hut. We need to provide a place of rest for the dead. So that is going to be a cemetery. I think, I feel like we should put the cemetery somewhere. Is it very nice having a cemetery there? Not really. It's going to have to go there, I'm afraid. And then we need a medical post as well. Okay. I feel like we have plenty of coal at the moment. I might bring people off of coal for one night and put all of our workforce onto the... Oh, I can't put any more people onto the wood because there's only 15 maximum. People from our convoy. With the basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. <gasps> Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay, we're going to rescue everyone. Build a workshop, build the beacon. Light the beacons! We need to put some people working here. The initial daily routine timeline. They have free time? Mm. The city wakes up at about 6. People have some free time until the work shift starts at 8, unless there's construction work to do. After they finish their shift at 6, they are free to help with construction again. That's what we like to hear, which can keep them up well past midnight. You can extend the 10 hour work shift if you sign certain laws. I don't want to work people too hard. They need their downtime. Wood crates depleted. The cemetery has been established. Now we can put our dead to rest. Hope rises. That's good. What's wrong? The wood crates have depleted. Oh my god, we've we've actually uh, harvested all of the wood. So now we need to find a new source of wood. Oh, here's some. Uh, ten people can go and work there. We need the hunters to get out to work, really. I might just um, zoom through to the next morning. Everyone go to sleep. Where are they all going? Are they the hunters? Oh, cool. Oh, they go and hunt at night. That's so cool. Okay, five o'clock. Everyone's about to wake up for the next day. I love the way they build, you know, they make a little path through the snow. It's so cute. Okay, so we have 10 sick people, three that are gravely sick. So we need to open a medical post today. Medical post. Don't really know. Not adjacent to the street, not adjacent to the street. Where is adjacent to the street? Do I need to make a new street? Currently, I don't have anywhere I can put this. Oh, no, wait, it fits perfectly in there. Awesome. Okay, we're not doing too badly. <laughs> we're getting there. We need more people on the wood today. Go, go, go. What happened? Freeze time. Oh no, sorry, that says free time. Minus 40 degrees, what the f What's wrong? It's too cold where they work. Generator over... Oh my god, there's so many stressful things happening. Treat the gravely ill. One of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts, but may undergo risky amputations as a result. Alternatively, you might sign the sustained life law to keep them alive until we build an infirmary. Okay. I think sustained life. How do I do sust... I'm going to do sustained life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. The gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated. Hope will rise. Discontent will rise. The gravely ill will not be treated and remain a burden. <gasps> oh, they remain a burden. Radical treatment. The gravely ill will be treated. Hope will rise. 30% of the gravely ill will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise. Oh, actually, I feel like I should maybe do radical treatment. We can't just keep people alive for the sake of it. We don't have the resources. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna do radical treatment. This is my renegade run. Sorry, everyone. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Healthcare promise fulfilled. You help the sick, they and their families are grateful. 
We can bring... So this is wood. We can maybe bring some people back from wood and put them into the medical post. So we have quite a few sick people at the moment, so... Okay, I'm this is quite promising. The discontent is lower and the hope is half full. I think that's pretty good. Why is it not functioning? What's wrong? We don't have any raw food. Could not resume production requires raw food. So where's the hunters at? Hunters will set out to bring in raw food. Oh, look at this temperature map. That's cool. So we've got comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing is purple. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, it's very cold out there. Can we make it warmer for them? What are you up to, Clem? He works for the hunters. Oh, he's a hunter. They're coming back with raw meat. Or raw food. The music in this game is so good. Oh god, oh god, what's happened? I shouldn't have done that. A citizen became ill. A child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. Oh, that's so sad. He must face his loss. Frostbite. You wouldn't be long getting frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. So how can I warm up the work areas? How do I do that? Okay, so we need a workshop. I can't build the workshop anywhere, so... I need to build more streets, I guess? Dismantle street, dismantle building, build street. Oh, am I gonna have to destroy some buildings? Did they build them? Oh look, they're building them! They're building the roads! I didn't mean to build them like that, but that's okay. That's nice. So now we can build a workshop. Ooh. You guys better um, sleep well tonight. Are they the hunters? Oh! Research goal not set requires at least one worker. Okay, we can have three workers. And the research is going to be... Wow! Steam hub or heaters allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces. Oh, yes, I think I'm going to allow them to heat the workplaces. I'm trying to be ruthless, but with a soul. I want people to thrive in this city, but we have to be realistic. It's not it's not easy. We can't be having all this time off that they want. Oh, God, many sick people. We need it to be morning. Right, who's going to work today? Is everything working fine? We need some more raw food. Maybe we need some more hunters. I'm gonna put some more people out to the hunt. Oh, what's wrong? Resources shortage. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the, by the hour. To address this, we can enact a law that will allow us to extend the working hours. We've already done an extended shift law, but I feel like we need it at the moment. The work shift can be extended to 14 hours. Oh, they're not happy with me. They're not happy with me. Oh, I could listen to this music. I feel like this would be great music to have on in the background whilst you're working throughout the day. Okay, what resources do we need? We haven't had the need for steel much now. I think we maybe need to start mining some more coal. We could put some engineers there. Do they just mine coal quicker? Go to the coal piles. Oh, look. They're working eight till six. They could also work six till eight. Ooh. Maybe we need to get some more wood. You're working a long shift today. Oh, discontent. Gone up. Sorry, everyone. We need resources. What's wrong? Family torn apart. Oh my God. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Look at this, by the way. This, just even this kind of artwork here is so gorgeous. The way it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's so nice looking. I need to build the beacon. Where is the beacon? You guys need to put in an, a long shift, I think, today. Get this work done. You have to research the beacon. I see. Is there anything I can do to help the medical staff? Another medical post, maybe? 
A basic medical station with five beds. Maybe we can make another one. Just for now. Oh god, maybe that wasn't the right decision. I don't know what is the right and wrong decision here. More sick beds needed. I just open a new one! I just open a new one. It's just about to be finished. Wait till you see. See, I know the needs of my people. Heaters researched. Use heaters to heat workplaces during work hours. Okay, now we can get the researchers working on the beacon. Add new research. So exploration and industry, beacon. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Resources, faster gathering, coal thumper, sawmill. Oh my God, there's so much to this game. I got this game for 4 99 by the way. It was on sale on Steam at £4.99. I didn't get the- I just got the base game. I thought I'll just get the base game and then I'll look into the DLC and the expansions if I'm interested in them. But this is really good. Beacon. Start researching that please, team. Okay, we need to put some staff here in operative. We don't have enough workers. Um, so maybe we can bring some workers back from the coal? And put you working in there. Why? What's wrong? No employees available? Too cold. This building must be at least chilly to- Oh, we're not allowed to work here because it's not warm enough. So we need to add a heater. The heater is off. Put the heater on. What's wrong now? Can introduce a new law. Adaptation. Find new- Find ways to battle hunger, sickness and apathy. Oh, wow. Oh god, child labour! Oh. Fighting arena! Soup. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Oh, that sounds like a good one. Hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise, eating soup will cause discontent. I feel like that's good though. I'm sorry, but it needs to happen. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. One of our people died, no! On day six, one of our people died. Lack of treatment. An engineer? No, not Peter. Peter, I'm sorry. We'll host a, a, a ceremony for Peter. Engineers. So we need to bring the engineers back. You can work there. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's get through this night. There's many ill people. Oh, God. I need some tea. This is so stressful. It does give me like Winterfell vibes, right? Especially with the music. I think it's the music that makes it feel like Winterfell. We haven't needed any steel yet. I wonder what the steel will be for. So how do I get more engineers? Oh god, people are very ill. What's happening? It's raining? Oh, it's warming up. This is great. Engineers must go to work in the sick bays at the moment. That noise is terrifying. Look at them all just going about their lives. There's Vivian. She's got three kids in this world, man. I hope they're all all right. So the only way to get more people is to build the beacon and find other survivors. Okay, so we need to build the beacon. Have they finished researching it yet? About eight hours more. Okay, so by tomorrow we can build the beacon which means we need more wood, just in case. There's the hunters coming back. Hopefully they've got some raw food. What's wrong? First amputation, oh no. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. No. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at a low cost in special homes. Well, I can't sign it right now, so we'll have to think about it. We do need to care for them. We can't just let them die. Why does this raw food thing never go up? Where's the hunters? All going to rest after the hunt, but where is the raw food? Hmm. We've got more and more sick people. I'm not sure how to make more engineers. If that's possible. Oh, also I think it said the wood source was depleted, so we need to find another one. That's coal. That's also coal. That's also coal. We don't need more coal. Steel. Wood crates. Okay. 
five people can go and do some more wood there. Coal, actually, we do need some more people. Ten people go to work on the coal. Can we heat this place up for them? Oh no, I didn't mean to clean. <laughs> I thought that was the heater and I've just done an emergency shift. Sorry, everyone, discontent will rise. Okay, let's get through this work day and see how we go. Beacon researched, fantastic, let's build it. So tech beacon, oh, we need steel. I should have started collecting steel earlier. I knew I should have done that. You guys, we need to get through the night. Okay, oh God. We survived another night. What else can you guys research? So we have a beacon. I feel like we should do faster gathering. That would come in very helpful. Coal, steel and wood, people will gather faster. Go for it. We need resources. I can't be dealing with the, all these sick people. Work time. That sound, like the That means go to work, everyone. That's what that means. I think I need to pull some people back steel wreckage is good wood good at the moment we don't really need that much coal so we could bring these people back from coal and put them onto steel because that's what we need right now we've got a lot of people off ill how am i going to help the ill need more engineers the heater is on good let's put the heater on in the other medical tent too hopefully that will help them these guys don't have enough food. Where's raw food? We haven't got any raw food. Where are the hunters at? Are you guys bringing anything in? Maybe I need to upgrade the hunter's hut when we next have research opportunities. Okay, the steel faster gathering research. Fantastic. Do I need to do anything or... I didn't gather much steel today. We need to do an emergency shift, I think. We're going to pull in some staff from the other areas. Overtime, boys. 19 hours left. Low coal. Oh, shit. Okay, more coal. Okay, let's get through the night. Discontent's pretty high right now, but it's understandable. <laughs> Work time soon, everyone. Here we go. Okay. I need to build a beacon. Can we build it yet? Here we go. Build the beacon. We do need more coal right now. So we could put a few more workers into coal. Once they've done... We don't actually need that much more steel. More coal, everyone. Whew. We can do some more research. You're right. Let's do more. Um, coal thumper? Sawmill? What does that do? Turns frozen trees into usable material, producing up to 80 wood per standard workday. That's pretty good. Hunter's gear. Thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage, hunters setting out from the hut will return with more raw food. I'm going to do that one. I want my hunters to bring back more food. I feel like we're seriously lacking in that at the moment. We're getting more and more sick people. It's really bad. Oh, from now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us, the frost land. Oh, that's the beacon build. Nice. Oh, my God. What's happening? That's the beacon. <gasps> oh, my God. It's like a like a hot air balloon. Oh, my God. I hope people find us. See the edge of the screen is like all icy. That's so cool. Oh, <gasps> holy shit. Lost expedition or a crash site. Let's go lost expedition. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be the lost members of our expedition. Yay. Okay. The other one is a crash site. Several wrecked vehicles. No signs of life. They probably are our machines. Let's hope so. Okay. I want to go and find the people first. Send scouts here. How do I do that? Oh, I think I need to make scouts first, right? Yeah, we need to send scouts there. Oh, that's so clever. When you zoom out, you can hear the winds. And then when you zoom in, you're sheltered from the winds. That's so clever. Scouts need to create. Oh, what's wrong? 
ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Okay, so now we need to do scouts. So we needed to create five workers, wood. Not enough wood, okay. It's off time for now. Okay, well, we need a we need a big day tomorrow. Steel wreckage depleted. That's okay for now. Means we can put more people onto wood. Oh my god, the coal! Holy shit, we're gonna die! Oh my god, the coal's gonna run out. This is bad. 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 We need to do emergency coal. I forgot about the coal. I need the call to be coming in faster, boys. One more over there. I totally forgot about call, that's so important. Call is the most important thing, right? I need an emergency shift on call. My bad, everyone. But I'll I'll take the, the fall for that one if he's wanna be discontent with me. Mm. Need to be grafting. And we also need, we do need some wood. Just need to be bringing in some wood, yeah. Work time, everyone. Work time. Yeah. Hunter's gear research. Nice! Hunters from the Hunter's Hut will return with up to 20 raw food from each hunt. A proud man. Sir, one of our men insists on living in the street. We've brought him to you so that maybe you can talk some sense into him. Look, sir, everything I have ever had, I earned myself. I'll be damned if I take up space under a roof when I have no way to pay for it. Oh God, come on. And since I've lost my hand, I can't work. So that's that. He turns to leave, but hesitates, then sighs. There are homes for people like me in London. So you don't want to live somewhere, but you do want to live somewhere. I don't understand. We can build a care house for sure. Yeah, we'll build a care house. For now, I need to do more coal though, sir. You can hear people when you zoom in, that's so cool. Five citizens, okay, we can bring some people. Here we go. Scouts, go scout team, go. We're gonna send you to the lost expedition. It's gonna take 11 hours. Scouts unit one sent to lost expedition. Okay, boys, Godspeed. People are starving though. Why are the hunters not doing anything? I've got 15 people out hunting and there's people starving. What's going on? We've got five sickness absences from here. That's why it's not doing very well. Why can't I put the heater on in the coal pile? Is it because it's not connected to the road? Discontent is rising day by day. <laughs> what can I do to help you? Scouts have reached the lost expedition. Good. The rest of our people made camp here, too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Yes, bring them! A happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. So we discovered the gloomy cave and the sturdy shelter. Escort the survivors to the city or send the survivors to the city. We're going to escort them because they are in a bad way, so. Scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. Survivors will set out towards the city on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. Well, why would I do that? Okay, so we have the gloomy cave, which we can go back and explore once we have brought the survivors back to the camp. This is gonna be great because we're gonna have more people, more people to look after, but hopefully more workers and maybe some more engineers if we're lucky. Okay, so where's this pie chart you were talking about? We've got five amputees, 10 ill people. Oh, here we go. Economy. Okay, so the coal consumption is minus 192 per day because we have four heaters and the generator. We have three coal piles currently bringing in 70. So that is bad. We need some more coal coming in. So how, this is coal balance. Is that all? Oh no, okay, wood is here. Wood storage is only 13. Health status is bad. Efficiency is 33%. Why is that? Because the workforce isn't high enough. Okay. All the tents are very livable and happy. That's good. We need to get the workforce full on the other medical post, which means we need three more engineers. Temperature's falling, everyone. 
No. We only have six hours left on the coal. We need more coal, everyone. Maybe we need to turn some of the heaters off. I think this one, the heater needs to go off for now, I'm afraid, so that the coal consumption is lower. I really need these ill people to stop being ill. Get going. Time to earn your bread. We need coal today. We have no more engineers. When do the new people get back from the expedition? Resources could be better. Okay, so coal thumper, what does it do? Pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resource to the surface, forming a pile of up to 560 coal per standard workday. <gasps> that would be perfect! Discontent continues to rise, everyone. This is not good. Things aren't looking good for me as a leader right now. <gasps> Yay! Scouts unit number one have returned safely to the city. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the frostland. Yay, everyone's happy. Oh, oh, look at them arriving. Oh, bless them. How did they get down into the hole? People from our convoy, reunions. Oh. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Okay, we need the care house law. This one. The gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at the low cost in special homes. That's fine. Yeah, that's gonna make everyone feel a bit better, I think. Listen, everyone. Holy shit. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. We need more people. So how many people do I have now? Where's the number of people? What is this? Oh, you guys want to go back out? A bulky cylindrical construction stands on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there's no sign of movement. Okay. So we could send people there. We could send people to the gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from it, but it's gone now. And the crash site we looked at before. So total, I only have 32 people or we have 100 people. 22 idle workers, 63 total. 10 idle engineers. Oh, this must be the people we picked up. 17 children and five amputees. Okay, so we can put people to work. Let's go. These guys are waiting. So I think we should just send them straight out to this sturdy shelter. Go. Scouts unit number one sent to the sturdy shelter. Godspeed, boys. So we have 100 total people. We have 32 idle workers. That's not okay. We are desperately in need of more coal workers. Coal, yeah, let's get more coal. And then also we do need some wood. And can I put any more workers in here? Fantastic, yes! more engineers which means hopefully we'll be able to cure the illnesses a little bit quicker so now we have 12 idle workers so where do you guys want to work could work in here could make another medical post oh no we promised we would make a care home so we should do that we need 25 wood and five steel ah okay we need more wood desperado please come on let's go look at them all go bless them oh dear People are hungry. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Let's feed them. Let's feed them and stockpile some food. I think I can, I can promise to feed them. I can't promise to stockpile much food because our hunters don't seem to be doing much right now. I think we maybe need... The efficiency of the hunter's hut is 80. Why? Two people are in treatment, I see. So we need to heal the people. We really need to heal the people. Coal thumper research. Nice. Discontent is pretty high. 30 homeless. Oh my god, I forgot we have new people, which means we need new homes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We're out of wood. No, we need to put an emergency shift at the wood place. Sorry. Oh my god, discontent is incredibly high right now. I think they might end up... This might be it. This might be GG's. I didn't think it would go up that much. 
How can I make discontent come down? We need to have a look at the laws. Oh, I, have, I can't do a law right now. How can I make discontent come down? How can I do that? How can I do that? Can I give them a day off? Free ice cream for all? I need to do something. I need to build a care house. That will make discontent come down. Did I already build a care house? I need you guys to build this really quickly. Scouts have reached the sturdy shelter. Fantastic. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Oh, very good. Food ration, steam cores and wood. Trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Sites discovered steel bridge. We can take their resources. Oh, okay. Are you going to go on to the steel bridge? The trail goes over an elegant steel bridge that crosses a huge ravine. The bridge is remarkably snow free. Oh, maybe you should come home. I feel like you should come home. I want them to come home with the resources. We can go back to the steel bridge. We need help right now. Hopefully when we build this care house, we will fulfill some promises and that might bring the discontent down. Hope rises. Okay, hope rising is good. Care house promise fulfilled. We need to feed the hungry. How can we do that? Could not resume. Oh, we need more raw food. Do I need to make another hunter's hut? Is that what we need to do? Can I? Oh, maybe we can uh, research. Something to do with the hunter's hut. Hunter's gear. Drawing boards. Allows us to research tier one technologies. Oh, I don't have 50 wood to do that. Maybe we need to do the sawmill. Allows us to build sawmills. Oh, I haven't even built a coal thumper yet. Research the sawmill, sure. How do I build a coal thumper? I maybe need to build a new road. Build street. We need a street to go out a bit further. I'm not very good at town planning, so this isn't going to be the nicest street. But it will provide what we need. What's wrong? Oh goodness, okay. Urgent need for treatment. Captain, our people have gathered to protest. Oh my goodness. The number of untreated sick keeps rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. I'm trying. I'll open a medical post right away. Okay, we'll do it right away. I don't know how to help the sick. Medical post, medical post, medical post. We already did a care house. We have two medical posts, but we need one more. Go for it. Scouts unit number one have returned safely to the city. They arrive with 101 food rations, one steam core and 200 wood. <gasps> That's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. So we need to find another settlement. So we can actually send these guys straight back out to the steel bridge. The trail goes over an elegant steel bridge that crosses a huge ravine. One day and eight hours to arrive. Godspeed, my dudes. They're great. The scouts are great. Discontent seems to have lowered quite a bit, which is positive. We have a new medical bay, but we can put... Oh, yeah, we've got loads of engineers now. Get to work. It's so difficult to do the balance, isn't it? It's so fun, though. The 31 sick people, like how... I need way more medical bays. I've opened a new medical post. Inoperative? Oh, put the heater on. You help the sick. They and their families are grateful. Okay, great. The hungry are being fed. This is all good news. We still need people working in the coal. Where is all this coal? I can put some engineers there. We've still got 11 workers. Maybe we need to open another coal pile. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's not as war it's not as cold now. This is good. You'll have a great day at work today, everyone. Still many sick people though, isn't there? Okay, so food is good, coal is good, wood is good. 
The hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. This is so good. This is so good. Hope rises. Look at this. Hope is high. Okay, we can make a sawmill now. Or maybe we should do the coal thing first. Resources. Resource depot. Gathering post. Sawmill. Producing up to 80 wood per day. That's pretty good. I feel like coal is more important right now. 560 coal per day is huge. Huge. So we're going to build it. Look at that discontent. It's going down. Woohoo! Time off, everyone. Go and enjoy your evening. I won't make you work tonight. We do need to put some workers into this, though. So we can bring all of you guys off there and put you onto here. Perfect. We only have two idle workers. Who are they? One engineer. Can you go and work at the medical bay? Or you can work here? Yes. Research fast. Perfect. Okay, I'm on day I'm on day 13. I think I'm doing okay. Don't you guys think I'm doing okay at this? How do you win this game? Does it just keep going forever? <laughs> like you win against Maxak, you just don't. Let the sun come and warm us up a little bit. There's just more and more sick people and I don't know how to help them. These guys are waiting. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winterholm in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working autom automaton. Oh, cool. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Ooh, that sounds like it could be helpful. I think send it to the city. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. Oh, so the bridge is no longer used. So there's a large convoy, several vehicles and tents. We can see people moving between them and smoke rising from a campfire. <gasps> Go there! There's also a weather station, a tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof. It's most likely a weather station set up by scientists from Winter Home. I think we go to the large convoy first. Enjoy. Here's the automaton on its way home. <laughs> oh, it's creepy, this machine. I hope that the people at home don't get scared by it. Oh, goodness. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. Give him what he needs. The search for other cities, deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winterholm proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Hope falls slightly. I'm sorry, everyone. Sorry. All right, we still have two workers that aren't doing anything. What are you doing? Well, I feel like I've put you to work. Are you sick? The care house. We have so many amputees. Holy shit. Everybody's working. This is great. There's just so many sick people. Like, how do I care for them? How can I... How can I make it better? Let me look at these sick people. Oh, How can I treat them properly? Urgent need for treatment. Captain, our people have gathered to protest again. We need to open another medical bay. Another medical bay? Really? This feels like... This doesn't feel good. I don't have enough engineers to run another medical bay, you know? How do I, how do I help them? How can I improve the medical bays? That's how we need to do. Let, let's research that. I need to unlock this. Medical post upgrade, that's what we need! There's no engineers available. Stupid. Scouts have reached the large convoy. This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. They sought Winterhome. 
The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up. They say we tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. We're gonna escort them to the city. Yay, more workers. The automaton is on its way back also. This is so cool, man. <laughs> One person is not working. What are you doing? I do feel like we need another hunter's post as well, but I can't believe how many ill people we have. They're all just dying. Like 30% of the population is ill or dying or dead. We survived another night. You did. Good job, Henry. Okay, how can I help them? How can I help them? Um, open a new medical post. I have done, but it's not open because there's no engineers. We need the workers. Get to work, everyone. Get to work. The illnesses is just... Okay, now we have 12 idle workers. We can take one engineer there and put them into the new medical tent waiting for workers. There you go. There's your workers. There we go. Hope rises. Look at that. Hope is rising. Oh! Fewer amputations. The doctor who was trying to improve radical treatment is here. He is reporting a breakthrough. It's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned colleagues would be appalled at the experiments I had to perform, but it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. He seems eager to get back to his everyday work and try his new method. Well done, sir. Now we have 11 idle workers. What do we need? We need more coal. So what's wrong? Storage limit reached. Oh god. How do I fix that? Resource depot extends our storage capacity for a chosen resource. We can do that. Oh god, we need some more coal. Go everyone, go. Coal, coal, coal. I think you're going to have to do an emergency shift. I apologize. Discontent extremely high. <laughs> so I need to build a storage unit for this. So will that... I don't know if that's going to help, but hopefully it does. People are hungry now, too. Scouts Unit 1 have returned safely to the city. They bring with them 26 new workers and 19 engineers. That's brilliant. So we can put people... Oh, yay. That's so good. 45 homeless. Oh, God. Tents. I need it to be warmer for people though, you know? It's too cold out here. Let's build a little residential area over here. We need to build some roads. Okay, perfect. And then we'll build some more tents. We need, like, we need several new tents actually. Go, go, go. And we're gonna have to put heaters in all of them. Oh, maybe we need to research. I know what we need to do. When they're done researching, we need to do a little steam hub or something. Oh, you guys are waiting. Sorry. So next, I want you to go to this gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. Oh, I hope that it's not dangerous. Hopefully there's just people there. Go and investigate. Where's my new road? Okay, they're building, they're building. What happened? Oh, this thing is weird. I don't like it. This is the automaton that keeps the snow off the roads. The automatons can replace entire crews at most workplaces. They are produced in the factory and work 24 hours per day. Their initial efficiency is 60%, but it can be raised by researched upgrades. An automaton recharges itself twice daily from the generator or a steam hub without interfering with its operation. Wow, okay. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. I see. They're taking our jobs. The automatons are taking our jobs. Stored resource, coal. I need a gathering post. Did I build the wrong thing? I did build the, the wrong thing. We can now research tier one technologies. Great. I also need you to research something else. What did I want them to research? Steam hub. Yeah. When powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones. Yes, because our residential area is pushing away from the main source of heat. This is terrifying. 
uh, but great. I love you, creature. The ruby Irishman, that's so cute. What are you up to? <laughs> it is quite a cozy game. I know it's semi-stressful, but it is quite cozy as well. I think it's the snow. Any snowy game feels kind of cozy, I guess. Oh, who's this? A lone ranger, no! A man from Winter Home. We found an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winter Home, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Shit. Winter Home is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. How can we escape? Those were his last. Oh, he died. Those are his last words. We can't escape, my dude. One of our people died. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we are alone. Hope falls. What's happening? Are they protesting? No, please don't protest. Why did winter fall? Why did winter home fail? Are we going to die here? No, please. Oh my God, look how much hope went down. We should never have left Britain. Oh my God. They're all dead. How will we survive without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterhome spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. Why? Why would we want to go back to London? We left London. I must give them purpose. How do I give them purpose? Oh goodness. Okay, choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed winter home. A new set of laws will become available. Faith. Oh my goodness. Order and discipline or faith and spiritual strength? I actually don't know. Faith and spiritual strength definitely looks happier, but order and discipline might work better. I think the people need hope. I think the people need hope and that is most important. I'm going with faith and spiritual strength. Purpose. We need a place to practice our faith in peace. After introducing this law, Okay, so we get a new building, a house of prayer, a new ability, which is hold a sermon. People living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their hope. You have to build two houses of prayer. Okay, we'll do that. Yes. We are now a spiritual town. A new law has passed. We need to build two houses of prayer. Where's that new road I built? You can build one down here. I'm not building a cult. <laughs> house of prayer let's go oh we need wood oh d oh jesus someone died no eleanor noel eleanor no i'm so sorry hope is low okay okay workers we need 40 workers we need to go and get some wood where is the wood supply coal we don't need the coal anymore we need wood what's wrong Holy shit. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say that faith will save us? Nonsense. What? Are we going to pray for food when we start to starve? Shouts one of them. If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like winter home. Calm down, we're not going to die. <laughs> The Londoners, your people are divided. Some of them are so scared. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. A social crisis? Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city, remaining 12. Okay, God, right, we need wood immediately. Where is the wood supply? How do I pause? Pause, let me find the wood. Iron ore, what are you doing? Cool. Where do I find wood? Here we go. Oh, automaton, go. I need you to do that, my tomb. Yeah, look at his little footprints. It's so cute. Still got 40 unassigned workers. Why are you inoperative? Too cold. 
Turn the heating on. Inoperative. Requires workers. Oh, get working. Oh, look at him doing his job. He's so cute. I love him. We need 30 wood to start building that. Come on, automaton. Perfect. House of prayer. We're out of wood. I need you to hurry up, Ruby Irishman. <laughs> Time to rest. Mm, automaton, you need to keep working. Closed. Storage limit reached. How do I up the storage limit? Angry about the cold. Oh no. Captain, our people are angry about the cold in their homes. They have gathered to protest against your neglect of their suffering. We will heat all homes. The Londoners have infiltrated the crowd and they use people's anger to turn them against you. We will heat all homes. So we need one of those little things I asked you to research. Steam hub. Let's go. Two hours. Look at him going. He's so great. What's he doing? What? What's he doing? They've reached the gloomy cave. Here we go. This cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check if there's still someone alive up there set by beasts oh god we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill when we come closer several polar bears turn towards us blocking the entrance there are people trapped inside and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them leave the bears alone or risk attacking the bears we're all about the people people in the cave will live scouts will escort them to our city if they survive the bears will kill the survivors we need people i'm sorry if this oh god when our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them and together they drove the beasts away. Then they all set out towards the city. Yay! We survived! Phew! They're on their way back to the city. Great. Right, that was stressful. When they finish, finish researching the steam hub, we can build one and heat these homes. I don't know what this little guy's up to, but go off. The Londoners gain more followers. Shit! How do I increase hope? We need warm. The people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope. Oh god. Come on, let's get to work for the day. Come on. Steam hub. I need a steam hub. Steel. Okay, automaton, I need you to go and grab some steel for me. We don't need any more wood. Can you go and get some steel? And then we'll put the workers to the wood. Let's go. Work time. We've still got 23 people not working. Come on, guys. I think I need another hunting hut because we're not getting enough food right now. That just doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. There we go. We need another house of prayer also. And then that will increase hope. Oh god, no, not that close. There we go, another house of prayer. They have returned safely to the city with 12 workers, 18 engineers and four children. That's so good. We do have now 29 homeless, so we need to build another road for another residential area. <laughs> and then also I need to build a steam hub. I need 20 steel for that, so I need my little machine to keep doing his, his graft. Great, now we can put a steam hub. Not adjacent to street. Okay, we need some more roads. House of prayer built. Um, we need a steam hub though to keep these little houses warm. Has to be built on a road? That seems like a strange place to build it, but okay. Seems a bit close to the church. What's wrong? Starving and angry. Oh, God. <laughs> Captain, our people are protesting. Some of them may have been incited by the Londoners, but all of them are hungry and scared. Their friends and loved ones are starving and some of them have died. They demand food now. Let's feed them and increase the food supply. Yes. So we need to build another hunter's hut. And then we've got si we've got 60 work. You promised people warmth. You broke your promise. No, I'm building it right now. Oh, god damn it. Discontent extremely high. 
the rebirth of faith. People have started to visit the house of prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might be the start of something special. I'm glad to hear that. We don't need any workers there either. Hope is very low. Oh my God, how do I make hope go up? Feed the hungry, build a hunter's hut or a hot house. Oh, building a hunter's hut. We need as many workers as we can here. Go, 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 go. Feed the hungry. There's so many hungry people. Oh my God, I might just build another one, you know. Let's just get to work helping the hungry. And we need you um, getting us more wood, Mr. Automaton. We don't need that right now. Inoperative? Oh. Perfect. Go, hunters, go! This is so sad. I hope they don't die. Yeah, hothouse sounds great. Or medical post upgrade. I really do want to do medical post upgrade. We need more wood, though, so I need my little automaton to get to work on that immediately. Discontent is worryingly high. The Londoners gain more followers. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. I need you to get to work, Automaton. I need wood. Oh, these guys are waiting. Go to the weather station. A tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof. It's most likely a weather station. Go explore. Oh my god. This is actually quite stressful. It's the fact that there's no end either. Well, not that I'm aware of. There's no end to this game at the moment. So I'm like, do I just keep going until I can't take it anymore? Or what do I do? <laughs> I don't know what this little guy is doing. I just need you to go and get more wood. There's 39 people not working. Can you guys do something? A new hunter's hut. There we go. I think I could build more medical posts because we have 65 sick people right now. What's wrong? Cookhouse helpers. A group of amputees is here to see you. They want help in the cookhouse. Can't afford it. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't afford hope to fall slightly. Ooh. I think that might be GG's. They're all going to leave for London. We have so many homeless people. Forgot about them. Oh no. Oh no. Angry about the cold. Let's heat all homes. Yes, we will heat all homes. I promise. I keep making these promises. I have to start. I have to start keeping them. Oh, it's steel. Oh my God, that's so dumb. <laughs> Where is the wood? <laughs> Who needs steel? Not me. How do I find... I think I'm going to have to build one of those wood things. Oh my god. I can't build a sawmill because I don't have any wood. Where do I get wood from? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to dismantle something. Dismantle the cemetery. Oh god, that would be bad. That would be really bad, actually. We're going to have to have some homeless people for a while, I think. So what do I need the wood for? I need the wood to build a steam hub. Is that right? Hope is going down still. Oh dear. <laughs> Secure at least livable conditions in the homes. Okay. Sawmills or wall drills. See, I can't, the thing is I can't build a sawmill because I don't have enough wood to build the sawmill. Okay, this is my issue. Sawmill costs 10 wood. I only have two wood. So I'm gonna have to angry the people some more and dismantle some thing. I might have to dismantle the place of worship because that will give me so much resources and then we can build it later I'm sorry house of prayer you're gonna to have to go yeah house of prayer has to go that's the least important thing right we can rebuild it i promise when we get the sawmill oh i'm so sorry people are desperate we must hold on for a couple more days okay i've got two days to raise hope convince people to trust you again oh no okay i need to build a sawmill desperately Hope is extremely low. How do I, how do I help the, I need to feed the hungry. That's what I need to do. Okay. And we need living conditions. Living conditions are bad. Secure at least livable living conditions in homes. Okay. So that's chilly. Is that, is that livable? Sawmills are, oh, I don't have anything to saw. Oh, I messed up. Requires workers. Go. There's some wood there. Work time. Get moving. 29 hungry people. This is so stressful. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can bring it back from this. It's gonna bring it per hour. It, I have lost all hope. What's the automaton doing? We have 25 people that are not working. We need to fix that. We need more tents. Yes, tents, 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 tents. We need two more tents at least. Okay, road. It's pretty tense, right? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, good. Hope rises. Oh my god, yes. Most of the hungry people have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied. Great. Okay, 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 okay. We need livable, um, livable working conditions. No, livable living, living conditions <laughs> is what we need. Brilliant. They're warm. Is everyone warm? This tent is chilly. How do we warm it up? Can we build another steam hub? I want you guys to be nice and warm. Cold's good. Oh no. An agitated crowd. A member of the Londoners is stirring up a restless crowd. He's scaring people into joining the exodus to London. I'm gonna ask a cleric to reassure people. <laughs> Use him for fuel. Hope falls, oh no. I can't, oh, how can I raise hope? How can I do that? Can we research better housing? Bunkhouse? Allows us to build bunkhouses, a dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. Let's go. Discontent is extremely high. Hope isn't going anywhere. This is a big, big problem. A big problem, everyone. Uh-oh. Writing on the wall. Let's go back. Someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear we'll share Winterholm's fate and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest of nudges. Send the cleric. Hope will fall slightly. Hope can't fall anymore. Scouts have reached the weather station. There's nobody in the weather station. Let's explore. We found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of Winterholm from the roof of the weather station. Take the resources, hell yeah. You can go and investigate Winter Home. I feel like you should do that. There can be no doubt it's a city much like ours. We can see the top of the generator, but it's switched off perhaps for maintenance. Yeah, go and investigate. You might as well now you're all the way out here. I can try and keep things under control in here. The recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. Hope can't fall anymore. The Londoners have gained more followers. Oh no. I don't know how I can raise hope anymore. There's no coal. There's no wood. What is my automaton doing? I need to pause this for a second whilst I think about what I'm doing here. Why do I have to build a coal mine all of a sudden? Why can't I just extract it like we used to? Oh no! So many sick people. Maybe I do need to build another church since I, I deleted one, didn't I? We said we were gonna go down the faith route and I, I deleted the church. So maybe we need to bring back the church. 60 Londoners, this is bad. This is bad. Bunkhouse researched, great. We can start building some better homes. Maybe I need some more roads around here. Do you already have a fighting arena or a public house? No, let's have a look at the laws. I haven't done that in ages. Adaptation or purpose. Find ways to battle hunger. Find ways to fight discontent and restore hope. <gasps> restore hope! House of prayer we've already done. Shrines. Okay, let's do evening prayers. A group prayers will strengthen the bonds. That's good. We shall believe. So how do I do evening prayers then? Do I have to go to a place of worship and... No buildings affected by area. What? Short sermon. Hope will raise slightly. We're doing evening prayers and a sermon. Go, go, go. What about people? A bunkhouse. You can live in a bunkhouse. What is the automaton currently doing? Nothing. Right. Oh, I like the sound of the bells. <gasps> What's wrong? They're angry about the cold. Let's heat the homes again. Let's heat some homes. You'll have to start heating eight cold homes. Okay. Right, how do we heat the homes? Oh, look at the hopes went up. I thought all the homes were heated. Livable. Okay, so why is that livable? Is it because it's so close to this thing? Scouts have reached winter home. Oh no. We climbed up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. 
The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. Oh, f The City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair. The following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources, and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead, there's no hope. Holy shit, may they rest in peace. Fresh water springs or coal mine. Go, sure. All right, let me pause this real quick. I need to have a look at my economy. Okay, coal management. Okay, we're in a bit of a deficit. Where is this coal pile? Show me it right now. What is going on here? Coal pile? What? And then also 79 untreated citizens. That's horrific. Housing conditions. Everyone is housed, but all of these places are chilly. How do we warm them up? Why is everywhere else chilly? We need everything to be livable. How do we warm it up? There is a lot to learn in this game. There's so many moving parts. We'll see how much, how warm this one is. Maybe it has better insulation. See, that's livable. So really we need to get rid of the tents and build more bunk houses. Yes, yes. Generator, shut it. Oh, oh my God, what the fuck? Why have we not got any coal? This is bad. Oh God, this is bad. This is bad. This is really, really bad. One people died. Oh no. I've been banished. The end, you are banished. A band of grim men escorts you under the generator. The waiting crowd is silent. People observe you as you pass, their faces blank as though they were watching snow fall. You are summarily judged and spared the death sentence in recognition of your efforts. You are banished from the city instead. I did my best. That's it. I lose! Oh my god! Wow. Okay. I feel like I put in a good effort for my first attempt, no? I had so much fun playing that game. That is going to be one of my new Sunday afternoon games, I think. It's so, so... It, there's just so many moving parts. I'm not, I'm not very well versed in like strategy or survival games, so I'm quite new to this genre. I think the backstory is really cool. I love that you send people away off on their expeditions. I love that you just keep playing and you keep playing and you have to keep expanding and thinking about more people. It's so clever. I'm so intrigued to see the changes they've made for Frostpunk 2 or how that differs from this game. This is on Steam sale for like £4.99 for the base game, which I think is an absolute steal for such an intricate and kind of never ending game. You can just keep playing and keep playing. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what Frostpunk 2 has to offer. I guess we'll see soon.